you're just because you're a fan of that person or you've worked with that person, mm-hmm. which which happens unfortunately. But we're really we're really supposed to actually vote based on a quality, uh, you know, for so you know best best Latin music album. We really our choices for that should be what we honestly feel is best musically and what it's expressing, not necessarily something that we personally like the most. Hmm. That makes- so. That makes sense, so, but is the process, is it, do they give you a metric to kind of score in each category, or do you just make an overall judgment call based on your music? No, we have, uh, we have core categories. We have core categories okay. in our uh, experience, and we're only allowed to, each voting member is only allowed to vote in a, and it changes every year, but a maximum amount of fields. And, uh, and fields are divided up into the various categories, like there'll be a rock field, and then in that field there'll be, you know, best rock album and rock instrumental album and you're only and you're limited to the amount of fields you can vote in and and i guess i could jump out of my core categories to vote as long as i'm under that limit but nobody does since i i wouldn't know who those artists are and, and i wouldn't have listened to those songs okay makes sense so what are some of the highlights for you from the grammys and the latin grammys oh wow well it is the both for both of them the best concert all year <laughs> I can imagine. Right. So, uh, I, mean, I mean, I've been to some great concerts, but it is very cool to see what they can pull off. I mean, because it's live and they're coordinating all sorts of things, and on paper it shouldn't work at all. There's just too many details. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it, it's, it's amazing. But then every year it actually they pull it off without a hitch, or if they have a hitch, we don't notice. So, I mean, they're, the concert and the performances are definitely very cool. But of course, you know, my personal favorite is is always the red carpets are are very exciting, you know, getting uh, getting to talk to the media and meet other celebrities. And there's a uh, there's what's called a pre telecast for us, and that's where we actually get to mingle and you know meet people that you know we've been fans of, which is really cool. Yeah, the red carpet experience is kind of fun. I I remember my first time, I was a little surprised at how open and receptive uh, the celebrities were with the media, they would actually kind of stop and stand there and wait for you to talk to them, which right. was not what I expected, you know, because you, you're not in the circle, so I didn't expect